welcome to Doll Cat's World. And today, I have something I'm really concerned about that I want to talk to you guys about with because you've been, you know, Gabe's fans for a really long time, for years, some of you, since the very beginning. And he's completely midlife crisis, going downhill mode. Like, you don't even see half the stuff that goes on. So I wanted to talk about that with everybody today. And I'm really, really concerned about him, even though I'm angry at him and things aren't going well and we're getting a divorce. I still care about his well-being, um, but he's not listening to me. So I don't know if Marlene dumped him or what, but right now he's out in Cinco de Mayo and he's out with the guys probably getting plastered. And that's what I want to talk about. So he accidentally, in the middle of the night, I'm going to show you guys a clip of it, sent me a picture of him. I guess he was drunk or drinking. He was holding a bottle of something and he looked like in his eyes, you could tell he's like, not all there. I think it was meant to go to Marlene. He sent me other pictures, but I'm not even gonna tell you what that is. But anyway, I'm pretty sure it was supposed to go to Marlene, but it didn't and it went to me instead and who knows who else, because he's an idiot. But anyway, I'm back. Oh my gosh. This is what I'm talking about here. I'm gonna turn the camera around. You guys have to see this. Look beer bottles everywhere and chips like he's telling you guys that he's working out I bet they're all stuffed in the couch and crap he's just it's disgusting he's been drinking non-stop I don't know where he's been storing it this place is a dump you know he said that he was gonna keep the basement clean he's not keeping it clean um there was I know he got rid of it but I came down here last night and the whole counters were filled with beer bottles like look he got rid of it but then he must have drank those, those other ones, in the meantime. So basically, that's what I want to talk to you guys about. I'm going to explore down here a little bit and see if I can find any more. Because he's just, he's a complete drunk now. And I don't know what we're going to do. Okay, so I did find some more beer bottles. He's a complete, utter slob. And you guys see him drunk at Molly's party. And that was just where it all began. Like he started drinking that day and then I think ever since then he's just been drinking and drinking and drinking and he's been having friends over and drinking with them um and it's disgusting he's been leaving beer cans all over the house he expects me to clean them up because he's a slob and I'm not cleaning up his crap I'll just throw it down here but anyway I think you guys should really talk to him because I don't think that's how he should be handling his problems you know he shouldn't be just drinking away his problems he's gonna become an alcoholic it's already beginning he's out there and it's the weekend and he's been gone for hours, like since this afternoon, he's probably drunk. I don't know who's gonna even drive him home. I know his brother is busy with like Tiffany or something he said and couldn't meet him. So I don't know what he's doing, but let me show you right here. This is really disgusting. Like this pisses me off, what a pig, because he said he was gonna keep this pool table nice. Does this look nice? He has got all these toys on it. And then wait till you see, look down here. Really? I seen him drinking one of these the other day and I said, what the hell is that? And he tried to tell me it was a sunny day. This says hard ice tea. Yeah, this stinks. Oh, that's not sunny. You're kidding me, right? There's more. Oh my gosh. There's more down here, guys. You're kidding me. What a slob. Like nobody believes me that he's a slob. He says, I did nothing all these years. I clean up after him. This is the type of slob that he's been all these years. I mean, that's disgusting. I'm gonna take care of this pool table for you and keep it nice and then he shoves beer bottles down there. I'm, who knows what else is down there? That's really rude, it's disgusting, it's disrespectful. Like I wanted to keep this like as a nice game room for my kids, but he's being a complete pig. He's having a meltdown. I don't know, maybe maybe Marlene dumped him. Maybe those pictures were meant for me. I don't know, I didn't say anything to him. I didn't wanna embarrass him. He probably doesn't even remember. He doesn't remember, that's another problem. Probably because he's drunk. He doesn't remember what he's doing half the time. So I just need you guys to tweet at him to get himself in order, to stop drinking, to stop being a pig. I mean, I can't deal with this. I really can't. I'm about to pack up my kids and move out because I can't just live in a beer house. Like if he wants to be a bachelor and have a new girl every other day and start drinking and being a slob, I can't live like this. And I know everybody hates on me for it, but I really can't and it's really sad. So maybe some of you that are his friends and his fans out there, can slip into his DMs and try to talk to him because this behavior is not acceptable. No matter what our problems or issues are, like this is not a good example for our kids or for his family or for his fans that look up to him. 
So I hope that you guys will do that for him. And you know, I have nothing against Marlene. You see that she's trashing me all over the internet. I made a couple of harmless jokes, just like any ex-wife would. I think I went easy on her. I mean, I didn't physically attack her like, you know, he does to my male friends that I'm not even with. So there's no need for her to try to get famous by, you know, tweeting nasty things. I'm not bald. Like that, she's obviously bald. Like it's clearly a wig. She looks like Howard Stern. All right, never mind. I'm not going to stoop to her level because I'm not like that. But anyway, I hope that they're happy together or whoever. He's probably with somebody new. He's probably with somebody new today. Who knows who he's with today? Like if you see him take pictures because he has a new one every week. He actually um, have his picture up at an arcade because he was flirting with a bunch of women there. So he's not allowed to enter the arcade. They have it behind the desk. So like if you live around here and you're in one of the arcades and you see his picture, you know why, because he's a creep now. He's like a womanizer. He's going after all these women here that Marlene, he got kicked out of an arcade, like a kid's arcade for flirting with women. Like if that's the type of guy you want, you can have him. Like, I really don't care. But I'm sorry to rant again about Grim. I'm not trying to trash him. I just think he needs help. He's not listening to me. I tried to have his brother talk to him and his sister talk to him. Nothing's working. So I hope that you guys could talk to him. Like I'm not saying be mean to him or anything. Don't call him names. Just tell him that you're here for him and that he really needs to get his act together and stop drinking and stop with a new woman every week. I think he just needs time to himself. He doesn't need to jump with another woman, you know, just clear his head and maybe find himself, you know, and he doesn't need somebody constantly. Like, it's really sad. So if you guys would do that for me, if you care about him, I'd appreciate it. Hi guys, so Dave's over there, passed out on the couch. He's finally home. It's like 3 a.m. He's snoring while you probably, you probably can hear him. But anyway, I got his phone and I've been watching the stuff because he records wherever he goes, he records everything. So I want to see what he's up to, see if he's misbehaving. So I did, start watching some of this crap it's completely cringe like he should be ashamed of himself like you guys have to see this i know he's not gonna put this in his video <laughs> The midlife crisis just keeps getting worse. This is this is really, really sad. I'm gonna show you guys clips right here. That he's not gonna show you. I'm gonna upload them to my phone so I could show you what he's been doing at this freaking club. It's it's embarrassing.
down here getting his phone. Look at all this crap that he has in here. Like, I didn't even show you guys this earlier. Like, the whole fridge. Like, what the hell is all this? Like, he's never drank anything in all the years we've been together. Now, all of a sudden, he's with my lead and he's a drunk. So, it's just really sad and disturbing. So, like I said before, you know, help me get him in line because he really needs our help, guys. All right, thank you for watching.